Could it be the phone that finally proves itself to be an iPhone killer? Verizon's out with its first device that runs on Google's Android 2.0 software. And here with it and some other new mobile devices is ABC's Andrea Smith. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Stephen. All right, now you have with you uh, three, four, maybe even five new mobile devices, but the one everybody's talking about is Motorola's new Droid. They are. The Droid is the talk of the week, the buzz. Even the Droid is buzzing about the buzz. And it's a great phone. It's got this beautiful 3.7-inch brilliant color screen. And, of course, what, what everyone loves about it is it flips, it turns, and it's got a full QWERTY keyboard here. Okay, so a sliding keyboard, 3.7-inch screen. Uh, it, it's, it's got a, a camera with 5 megapixels, also with a flash. It's got a camera with a flash, and by the flick of one finger, you can just turn that over, and it becomes a video camera as well. Video camera as well. So it, so it does video, it's got a flash. Um, what else uh, does it do that uh, makes it uh, comparable to the iPhone? Well, the really important thing to remember here is that it's running on the Android operating system. So if you, if you try not to compare it to the iPhone and you think Android, because that's Google's operating system. So what it does so great is it integrates with everything that Google does. And that means Google Maps, Google Voice, Gmail, and Google Search, which are the things that Google does really well. One thing that it can do that the iPhone can't with Google Maps is it has turn-by-turn -turn GPS navigation. That's correct. You could put this in your car, and theoretically, you may someday be able to get rid of your standalone GPS unit because this will now give you turn-by-turn voice navigation in your car. You can also voice command speech, so, uh, search. So you could say, find anything you want. It searches your phone, it searches your contacts, and it searches the web, and it will return that to you using Google's really great search. It's also got that special feature with the camera where you can take a picture of a barcode and it'll, it'll bring up that product, right? Yes, th yes, that's the shopping function. And that's one of the apps. That's one of the Android apps. And it's really important to remember that Android's got about 12,000 apps right now. You cannot compare with the, with the iPhone Apple apps. They've got about 100,000 apps. And that's what makes the iPhone hands down, you know, great because everybody loves the apps. But the Android operating system is really coming up. They've got a lot. And this phone, the Droid, is for for people who like this kind of QWERTY keyboard and the option of a virtual keyboard, a great phone. And if you're on Verizon and you don't want to break that contract and you want a brand new smartphone with a touch screen and all these capabilities, it is an option for $199 with a $100 rebate. Yep, on Verizon. All right, uh, let's talk about a new BlackBerry, the BlackBerry Bold 9700. The Bold 9700, I've been waiting for this to come out because this is kind of a combination between the old Curve. Now, I have to tell you, I have a, a two-year-old Curve um, because I've just been waiting for everything I want in one phone. And let me show you the difference here. Okay. Uh, this new 9700, this one, is much thinner, flatter, smaller, much smaller in your hand. All it's right, we're going to take your word for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a combination of a lot of things, but now it has built-in Wi-Fi. It's got these really great keys here. It's got a wonderful screen, and it's got a much faster processor and operating system, but here's the really cool thing. What's missing? It doesn't have that trackball. Hmm. They've now moved to a trackpad, so just like a laptop, you're just using a trackpad to do left and right directional. Very interesting, and I'm sure it's very sensitive, so it's, it works fairly well. It works great. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you do, it, it's really wonderful. Again, a great camera, Wi-Fi, it's got a flash now, and also $199 T-Mobile and also coming out for AT&T. Okay, and that is the BlackBerry Bold 9700 also goes for $199 with a $100 rebate. Right. Okay, uh, you've got a Casio XLM. What's that? This is really interesting because a lot of people like to take their phone on vacation and they like to take really great pictures. And this is, it's not a smartphone per se, it, because it is a flip phone, so you're not going to have that um, full QWERTY keyboard. But what you can do is it's a flip and swivel phone, and when you turn it, and you turn it this way, it becomes a camera. Hmm. And everything up here becomes your camera functions. And this is a real 5 megapixel camera that you can take underwater. You can take a, you can take it underwater. Underwater. It's got a waterproof casing and it goes underwater and you can take underwater pictures and underwater video with this camera. All right. Now, you can't really dunk it. I mean, you can't take it scuba diving, can you? 
I, you can't take it scuba diving, but it is submergible up to a couple of feet. It's also really rugged. You can drop it, they say, four feet. I haven't tried it, but you can do it. And uh, on Verizon, the call quality is really great. Okay, that's a little more expensive than the other phones we've been talking about. No rebate, two seventy nine with a contract. Yeah, it's a lot more expensive, but it does two functions in one, so it's only carrying one gadget with you. All right, let's talk about something that, that a new gadget that only basically has one function. That's the Twitter Peak. Yeah, this is kind of interesting for people who have not a smartphone, but a flip phone, and they, they don't like, you know, pressing three keys at once. This is the Twitter Peak, and all it does is it's for people who want to tweet because people like to be mobile. Now, you know, it's it's a lot of money. It's $100. And then you have to pay a seven ninety five a month charge after six months. But for people who don't have this phone, I have to say, it's kind of interesting. You use a scroll wheel here, and you can read your tweets. Um, you can reply. You can get your at messages, like I would do, you know, at ABC Andrea, and, and I could read all of mine, or I could tweet to you. Um, and you don't need the phone. You don't need to be at the computer. Perhaps for a business person, it might be good. Or not. <laughs> or you can just do it for free with your regular cell phone. <laughs> it's a lot of money, but the concept is really interesting of just having a gadget to tweet. ABC News Now. Good to know.